Hey, cool. yeah, we got Thimble Awesome Facts. Excited to be here at uh, Cliff Studio from Clifton Guitar Works. And uh, yeah, sh going through some of our pedals and talking a little bit about who we are. Well, I'm Bill from Thimble Wasp. And I'm Phil. Uh, I do a lot of the circuit design and electronics. And I do a lot of the art design and sound. My job's a mechanical engineer, uh, my day job. And then. Yeah, I'm a uh, uh, creative director, art director, and designer uh, by day. And then by night, we are uh, building Thimble Wasp pedals and uh, taking custom orders as well. By the way, this is uh, one of Clifton Guitar Works' uh, custom made uh, hand built guitars that we're playing through here. Uh, this one has humbuckers and also has a ghost pickup acoustic section that we're not using at the moment. Uh, we're just using the electric guitar pickups. Next up we got this time lapse delay. It's a multi effect delay uh, with eight different modes across this dial and then they're written across the bottom. We won't go through all of them exactly but we'll get a flavor for them. So this is a basic digital delay. The character knob will control the brightness. And then here's a tape mode with some modulation. Here's a reverse mode. So once you get through one through four, are digital delay, dotted eighth digital delay, tape delay, and dotted eighth tape. Once you get across the dial into number five, it gets a little more experimental. This is a reverse delay. Patches six and seven are totally custom that we came up with. I've not heard them anywhere else. Uh, number six we called inertia. It gives you octaves that cascade up. Yeah, so you can hear that can be used for like ambient textures or also very rhythmic effects because it gives you those octave ups, but it's a rhythmic pattern that they come in at. Number seven gives you an arpeggio of sorts. It goes octave, fifth, and unison, and then repeats that cycle. <laughs> On each of these modes we haven't talked a lot about, there's a tap switch for the first four modes that's tap tempo. Uh, and then for modes five through eight, they do different things. So as an example on this mode, when you turn the character knob down, uh, it's it gets rid of the fifth, so it's just two octaves in unison. Mm -hmm. So and then the tap switch on this one, I don't know if you're able to hear, actually takes out the fifth as well. The thinking on that is sometimes there's a chord that the fifth just doesn't quite sound right with the rest of what you're playing. That, that's what I just played there. Okay, yeah, to show that. Here's that. Yeah. Play that again. So that clears up a lot. So we try to give uh, these pedals a lot of versatility and creativity, something that you can sit down with and 
just lose yourself in inspiring new sounds, but also something that is practical. So that switch being an example. Uh, the fact that you have all your standard tap tempo delays on here means it can live on your pedal board, but then when you're feeling experimental, go right to the other side without switching out a pedal. Uh, the last mode we'll show is mode eight, which is a hold setting. Uh, this allows you to hold down a chord and then play over top of it. So that's the time lapse. We tried to pack a lot in there to, to make it a lot of fun, really creative, and really functional at the same time. You know, I, uh, I heard a really cool chorus out of the, the pedal last time I used it. Is oh, sure. there a way to dial in the chorus up? Oh, for sure. Yeah, if you go to the modulated section, which is the tape, and then if you turn the time down... Yeah, so all that is is the delay with the time all the way down gives you like a slap back effect and then with the modulation which is on the character knob sounds like a chorus uh, i mean essentially that's what a chorus effect is a delay with modulation on it uh yeah so we include when we ship out these pedals a chart that shows what all the functions are um we want it to look really uh cool and not have a chart on the pedal itself um and I obviously know them all because I designed it. Bill, would you say you've picked up kind of what what's what? I, I just keep picking up more and more mm -hmm. the, the, the longer that I play with it. Uh, and ha I had a hand in, actually, um, the sound, uh, sure. the effects that we have in here and mm -hmm. that sort of thing, and I still keep finding new things. Yeah. Yeah, the interplay between us is a lot of fun because I might have an idea or he might, and then... Uh, with different playing styles, different gear, we can refine it and, and come up with something that we hope appeals to a wide range. So yeah, I would give a prototype to Bill, he would have some notes, come back and forth and, and work on some ideas that way. Now, um, there was uh, a, the way the time lapse was designed, um, I don't know the terminology for like how it was built, like one of them was like point to point, hand wired. <laughs> But like this introduces a technology that uses like sort of like a microchips or like mm -hmm. processors. What's what's that called again? Uh, sure, like digital signal processor. Um, so it's a digital. PSP. Yeah, it's a digital pedal. We keep the dry signal analog on this one, um, and so the digital part we actually write program on the computer, download it, flash it onto the chip in this pedal. And uh, that allows us to do whatever in the digital space. But then we keep the analog dry just for your tone to be as uh, kept intact as possible. If someone buys this and they really like, you know, what you guys are doing, can you send them an upgrade chip for the unit? Uh, it could be possible to send a chip with some different um, code on it for some different patches. Uh, yeah. I don't know as we've done that and then of course the labeling you might need to change uh i don't think we have any like upgrades planned or like 2.0 planned at the moment well you just never know like what sure. people are into i mean like like a lot of pedals like these that are so versatile they could turn into like an institution <laughs> of their own just like you know it's possible yeah yeah there are some limitations just in the 
the circuit itself around it, like because the analog goes straight through, you couldn't do an effect that needs to be 100% wet with this particular pedal. Oh, okay. Because of how it's designed. Mm -hmm.